I always find it fascinating how the, the mainstream media decides to paint the picture for really anything, and it all comes down to just that. The picture they're trying to paint. Guys, news, media, it has nothing to do with actual news. It is all narrative. And that's what you're getting in the cryptocurrency space right now is narrative. We're going to talk a little bit about the headlines. And then I'm going to jump into a pre-sale that I think is going to soar when retail investors return to the market. But first, you got to understand, when you Google something like crypto news, you're not being fed news. You're being fed narrative. And I'm going to show you why in a second. So if it sounds like something you're interested in, let's get started. What's up, everybody? I'm Clay Bro, And as you can see, we've got good old crypto news on the screen. Now, let's go through a couple of these headlines here. Crypto comeback. Bitcoin, Ether, and other assets climb after U.S. recession fears spark heavy losses. Okay. Crypto futures record $1 billion in liquidations as Bitcoin nosedives. Yeah, it's already back up there. Don't worry. Crypto apocalypse. <laughs> no, I'm not even going to finish reading that one. DT Jr. promises a huge cryptocurrency announcement. DT Jr.'s huge announcement for crypto voices DeFi as the future. And I believe it will be. So what are we getting into here? Grayscale launches new crypto investment trusts for SUI and TAO. Cryptocurrency is the future, okay? I don't care if you agree with that statement or not. It is a booming industry. It is already worth between 2 and $3 trillion. And all these people are doing is allowing institutions to load up before they legitimize this space. And institutions become the trillionaires, not individuals not retail investors like you and I. They want to scare you out. But they're politicizing cryptocurrency right now in a way that I didn't think we would ever see happen. You know, when you're looking at a potential booming industry, when you're looking at an industry where jobs growth can be unlimited, where sales can create massive amounts of volume for the United States economy and the global economy, where transactions can be public, where transactions can be, I guess, un unhindered by central authority. Crypto truly is something special. But listen to the narrative that they're trying to push right now. Now, we've got these, we've got these good articles, but you've also got these bad articles, okay? I am certainly not going to read through this entire thing. But the headline is, The T-Man's Dangerous Embrace of Bitcoin and the Crypto Bros. Now, I know he's talking about all of the bros out there, since you guys are becoming bros left and right. But uh, here's what we got going on. The headline in and of itself says everything. A political figure or the embracing of cryptocurrency here in the United States, they want you to view that as dangerous. Why? Not because you have the threat of losing money. You guys can go out and lose money in one of their stocks that they go out there all day long and the SEC has approved. There are plenty of companies. Look up Molinado. Look up Farmy. Look up uh, Dry Ships. Look up all of these companies out there that have a record of simply diluting investors, reverse splitting, diluting investors, reverse splitting, creating no revenue, and simply going out there, drawing in new f moths to their flame, and then diluting them and reverse splitting over and over and over. All these, are there, are there SEC, you know, embraced companies. These are legitimate companies traded here in the United States. But what do they do? They don't create business. They don't create revenue or sales. They simply take investors' money and then use that money to pay themselves. Not to run a business and generate revenue but they simply live their lives. And this is regulated by the SEC, and they're completely okay with that. This danger is a narrative to make you think one political party is bad because they want to see prosperity and they want to see growth in the crypto industry, and the other one is good because they want to protect you from that prosperity and from that growth. Now, this is a very long article. And I am not going to read the entirety of this, but I do suggest you guys go check it out, right? You should have an understanding of the narrative that is being pushed in the cryptocurrency space right now.
It says, that may be the very worst case scenario, talking about the criminality in the cryptocurrency space, and that only criminals embrace and use cryptocurrency. I take offense to that when they say that. And, and as a matter of fact, I believe that this should be libelous. I believe that these people should be held accountable in a court of law for libeling anybody, a criminal, simply because they use and embrace cryptocurrency. I'm not a criminal, but I use and embrace cryptocurrency. Think about that. Defaming my name simply because they're trying to push their narrative with the malice of making you believe cryptocurrency investors are criminals? Guys, it, it fits. This should be a libelous story, and this idiot, uh, John Cassidy, sh should be you know held accountable for the libelous nature of this article. It says, in the case of mortgage securities, at least the argument could be made that they were supposed to serve a larger social purpose, expanding home ownership. Now, if anyone has discovered an overweening social purpose for cryptocurrencies other than crypto assets, they've kept it very well hidden. This guy knows nothing about blockchain technology. He knows nothing about public ledgers. He knows nothing about decentralization. He knows nothing about what true cryptocurrency is and the fact that it takes all centralized authority and decentralizes it. It says, but don't try telling that to the Mar-a-Lago crypto convert. He's got an election campaign to finance and some sneakers to sell. You're seeing a political attack on anybody that believes in the cryptocurrency market right now. And I think that you're smarter than that. I think that you know more than that. I think that you can read through the facts of the situation and see that this isn't factual at all. And in fact, it's just strictly narrative. And you know what, guys? Why do I think that you feel that way? Or why do I think that you can do that? Because we are certainly not in the quantity stage of the cryptocurrency market. We are in the quality stage. In 2017, quantity struck as Bitcoin hit an all-time high and retail investors poured in. In 2021, quantity struck as Bitcoin hit an all-time high and retail investors poured in. I don't know when the next retail investor FOMO event is going to be, but they will pour in. Right now, we are at bear market lows in terms of retail interest. You are the smartest of the smart. You guys are the ones that are going to make it through this bear market and prosper during the upcoming bull market. Now, because of that, I know that you know your stuff. And because of that, I know that you know when retail investors return, they're going to be returning to memes. They're going to be returning to the smaller assets, ones where they can turn tens of dollars into thousands of dollars. And I believe that Pepe Unchained can be that opportunity. Why? Because Pepe Unchained is a layer two blockchain built for meme coins. Now, if you guys are interested in buying, you can use the link in the description or the pinned comment. It's very easy to click connect wallet here, scan this QR code, and then simply determine how much you want to grab. So if you want to grab five Ethereum worth and be prepared for the upcoming bull market rally, you're going to have 1.3 million Pepe on chain. But don't let it stop you there. You can also stake for 256% annualized rewards, but this is all about memes. Retail investors flock to memes because they have the highest potential for the highest rewards. That's what these people don't like. They don't like it when you make money. They don't like it when you prosper. They don't like it when you are doing well. They want to keep you down. And sure, you can stay down if you want. You can play things safe. There's no issue with that. But if you want to take a chance, if you want to take a chance at some real money, Pepe Unchained could do that during the upcoming bull market. I'm excited about it, guys. I cannot wait for guys like this John fellow here to be proven wrong. And, and you know what? To maybe be held accountable for their libelous nature of the articles that they write. Let me know what you guys think about it down in the comments below. And until the next time, hope to each and every one of you have an awesome day.